We're going to graph our equation over here from standard form and then from slope-intercept form. So first thing we want to do is get this into standard form. You want the x's and the y's on the same side, so I'm going to add 4y to both sides. We're going to have negative x plus 4y equals 4. Now if you remember standard form, this is your ax plus by equals c. ax by equals c. And if you remember, that a value has to be positive, so we can't have a negative 1 in front of the x. So we can fix that by multiplying everything by negative 1. That's going to leave you with a positive x, a negative 4y, and a negative 4. So there's our standard form. From that, we can do our x and y intercepts. If you remember, we want to make x 0 and y 0. So if you make x 0, that leaves you with negative 4y equals negative 4. Divide both sides by negative 4, and y is a positive 1. So there is one intercept. The other one, make your y value is 0, leaves you with x equals negative 4. Well, that's already solved. So your x is a negative 4. So those are our two ordered pairs for our intercepts. The first one is 0, 1. So you go up 1 on the y-axis. And the second one is negative 4, 0. So you go negative 4 first, and you don't go up or down for the y at all. So we can see what the line, oops, we can see what the line is going to look like going right through those two points. But we will go ahead and practice for slope-intercept form. That means you take your equation and solve for y. So x minus 4y equals negative 4. Always get the x to the other side first. So we subtracted x, leaves us with negative 4y equals negative x minus 4. Divide everything by that negative 4. So y equals, now here we have a negative x over a negative 4. The negative over the negative will become positive. And then remember that's like a 1 in front of the x. So it's going to be a 1 fourth. We can just put the x on the side. And then negative 4 divided by negative 4 right here, that's going to turn into a positive 1. And there's our slope-intercept form, where the slope is 1 fourth and the y-intercept is 1. So we can go ahead and graph that, starting with the, oh, <coughs> the y-intercept. On the y-axis is going to go right there. And then our slope is 1 fourth. It's a positive 1 fourth. So that tells us we go up one first, and then you go four to the right. Up one, four to the right. Up one, four to the right. So we fill in all those points, as many as we can on our graph. Now to backtrack, you're going to go down one and four to the left. And you see we're hitting that other intercept we already had. So like we said in the other videos, that's a good thing. It means we've been doing correct math. And then you can go ahead and draw in your line.